prove the universal bound law, we're using the same statement variables. This one's going to be p. This is obviously going to be a short proof, right? Because we said this is a 2, two to the first power proof. And that's because there's only one statement variable slash component, which is true or false. It's following right here. A uh, totalology, which is going to be true, true. P or T. Right? P or T means totalology. So we look at P or T. We can see that's true. And we can see that's true. And so why is this called the universal bound law? Because no matter what you put for the truth right here, right? It's going to be true for whatever. That's if and only if we have an or for it, right? Thus, we prove the following law. We write out P, C, and then the last part, we write out P and C. It's going to be true, false, and then the following is going to be false, false, right? Because contradiction has all false values. And then we have a P and C. And so we look at P and C right here, and we can see that if if uh, one one is false, then both of them are false. And this is both false, and so it's obviously both false. And so now we got to conclude our statement. We say, thus, we prove this. And just like I was explaining on the last one, it's called universal bound law, because for any end, for any end, this is going to be false. Right? You could have any statement variable in here and it's going to be false no matter what.